welcome back everyone to our channel today we will have exciting tutorial for you we will be walking you uh, through the process of uh, create an aws uh, elastic kubernetes uh, cluster using terraform so let's drive in before we beginning let's quickly go over the process for the tutorial first you have need an aws account uh, through appropriate uh, permission to create a resource like eks cluster make sure you have uh, your access key and uh, secret access key next you have uh, need a aws cli installation on your machine in this uh, tutorial uh, we will create an uh, Amazon EKS uh, cluster uh, using the Terraform. We will create an uh, kubectl uh, server. This is the kubectl server. Kubectl. This is the kubectl server. We will uh, create and uh, one EKS cluster and uh, uh, two node. Mm, two node we will create. And finally, when the complete setup will uh, create it, then we will execute the kubectl command from this uh, server uh, to access our uh, uh, node. All right, now that we have our prerequisite covered, let's move on to the next step, uh, written our Terraform configuration. Here I have uh, a basic Terraform configuration file already set up. We will work through the key uh, components uh, together. Here is the provider plug. Uh, and in this provider uh, block, uh, I am using the AWS provider and this region. Uh, I am using uh, AP Southeast 1 and uh, after that go to the VPC. Uh, we will create uh, a separate VPC. Uh, the resources is uh, VPC, uh, AWS VPC and this is the CIDR block. The name of the VPC is CP VPC. Uh, then go to the subnet uh, this is our subnet uh, the resources uh, type is subnet and uh, here uh, we have uh, uh, created uh, two subnet and here we have uh, written the uh, terraform configuration file for uh, uh, two subnet because uh, in eks it's required uh, minimum two subnet uh, this is the uh, public subnet one and this is the public subnet uh, two and I have assigned the VPC ID here uh, and uh, this is the CADR and I have mentioned the uh, map public IP on launch is true then go to the uh, internet gateway and this is the internet gateway the resources type is uh, AWS internet gateway and uh, we have attached the, this VPC when uh, this VPC when created uh, then uh, the in the internet gateway it will uh, uh, assign the id of the uh, vpc then go to our uh, route table the resources type is here the route table we have assigned the vpc id we have attached the internet gateway id here and we have associated uh, two subnets here uh, in this route table we have associated two subnets uh, like uh, this is the uh, public subnet 1 and this is the public subnet 2 then go to the security group uh, this is our security group uh, the resources type is our security group uh, i have uh, attached the, this uh, vpc id this is the ingress rule and this is the egress rule means uh, this is the um, inbound rule and this is the outbound rule then go to the im role this is the im role and policy i have written it will attach to the eks cluster when the eks cluster will be created uh, this im role is attached to the eks cluster let's see the eks cluster configuration file this is the eks cluster configuration file uh, and the name of the cluster is pc eks and the role this is the role uh, is attached in the eks uh, cluster and this is the uh, subnet id uh, i have mentioned uh, two subnet uh, uh, id here and this is the depends on 
means this im role is uh, created uh, then after uh, this uh, cluster will create it. then go to the eks node group this is the eks uh, node group uh, uh, configuration file in this uh, eks uh, node group uh, configuration file i have two resources uh, one is the uh, instance we will create for uh, uh, kubectl server uh, this is the uh, instance for kubectl server and uh, name is uh, kubectl when the instance will create it uh, then we will see in the ec2 dashboard uh, this name will reflect and this is the resource uh, for aws eks node group uh, and uh, i have attached the no node group ami policy here and uh, this is the subnet id uh, and the capacity type is on demand uh, and the disk size also i have mentioned the 20 gb the instance type is uh, t2.small and remote access how it will access this is a pem file name uh, and uh, this is the source security group then scaling configuration scaling configuration desired size is 2 the maximum size is 3 and minimum size is 2 and this is the depends on when this policy will created then after then uh, the node group will create it once you have your configuration file is ready it's time to initialize the terraform first uh, we have to initialize the terraform file terraform i need It's initializing the backend. Then uh, Terraform validate success now terraform plan wait for uh, some minute yeah now see plan is uh, 25 25 uh, plan will uh, execute when we will uh, apply terraform apply command when we will do the terraform apply let's do the terraform apply then enter value s and it will take a few time uh, uh, let me clear that uh, i have already installed uh, terraform in this uh, pc uh, and uh, also configure the uh, aws uh, cli and the same secret key and secret access key we will provide the kubectl server then after we will access the our node if you will uh, provide the different uh, credential uh, then it will not work you should provide the same secret key and access key uh, it will uh, take time uh, at least uh, 15 to 20 minutes it will take time uh, i am speeding up this video now you can see uh, the 15 resources is uh, created let's go to the aws dashboard and uh, see uh, what will happen and this is the uh, aws dashboard uh, first go to the eks cluster let's see whether our eks cluster will created or not see the pc eks cluster will created and go to this and see 
in the computing section uh, C the node group the two uh, node are created then go to the EC2 instance and see whether the uh, kubectl server is created or not go to go to the running instance now you can see uh, this is the kubectl server and uh, these two are the, our node server let's access the kubectl server click on copy the public ip and open it my terminal bus paste the IP here public IP press enter yes first we have to install the AWS CLI for that uh, AWS config configure press enter provide the AWS access key ID uh, this is the AWS uh, access key ID copy and paste it here press enter and the secret access key this is the secret access key copy and paste it here press enter press enter press enter then uh, we have to set up the uh, kubectl for that go to this uh, website I will provide the this website link in the description mm, then this is the kubectl installation website mm, then click on this uh, Linux and go for uh, uh, this version uh, 1.23 version copy and paste it here it will download will download this file then go to go down go down go down go down and copy this command and execute it okay and then copy this command and then execute it okay then give the executable permission this command give it here okay then check the person okay. this is the kubectl client version then uh, configure the eks cluster in this server we have to execute this command I will provide these two command uh, in the description below you can refer accordingly means AWS EKS we are using the EKS server and uh, the reason this is the reason uh, we will provide according to our reason and describe the EKS uh, cluster name uh, this is uh, this is my EKS cluster name then copy this and uh, paste it here see it will give active then uh, update the EKS cluster in the kubectl server uh, for that uh, let's understand the this command uh, AWS and we are using the EKS uh, service this is the region and then uh, update the uh, kubectl config then uh, kubectl the EKS cluster name is PC hyphen EKS copy this and execute it press enter now it's added let's try the 
QCTL command which will work or not. Q Q C T L get notes. See, it will give the node to node. Uh, we have two node you have created, and now we can see these two nodes. And uh, if you'll see the uh, if you'll want to see the uh, service, then Q ctl get svc see you can see the service thank you for watching uh, hope uh, you will find this video helpful if you you have any query or suggestion please leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative video like this see you in next one